Again for Hart. Mick Boyd chasing it down. Josh McKinley getting the touch of Victor Way to Galloway. Still looking for Walker, that top throw. Wendy Walker teaming up with Simon Donnelly. And it's the strike for, for Celtic this afternoon. Peter Grant, the bit looks a bit high there, the referee allowing play to go on. This is Walker, good play by Walker, but uh, Levine had the pace to get back and make the interception, good play. Good skill by, by Andy defender. Walker there, great skill by Andy Walker there. Craig Levine read the situation, got back really well there. Henry Smith managed to clear the danger. McNally under pressure from Robertson. He does well, the ball breaks away from Grant, so it's picked up by Bet. Played just a bit on the strappy side at the moment. I think uh, that for the way the drizzle has been going all morning, passes will have to be of the utmost accuracy, especially weighted passes through to the strikers, because the ball is certainly rushing and skidding off the top of the surface. It will be also difficult for defenders, and they'll have to be very careful today. Collins for Celtic. Good close control by Collins. He's got Galloway away to his right. Bunch of Celtic players coming forward. One of them's O'Donnell. And again, McLaren makes a very good challenge indeed. And that ball swept away by Tosh McKinley. Good ball through from Collins looking for O'Donnell. And the Hutt defender sliding in and McKinley clearing. This is Thomas. Losing out though to Boyd and Smith. Now it's Mick Stay again, involved in the play. Well, that's not a good one from him. Given away again by Hart. Walker to Grant. Galloway's through in a lot of space. Galloway trying the shot, but uh, well wide of target. Certainly hit it with plenty of power. Still looking for his first goal of the season. Plenty of power, but uh, wide of Henry Smith's goal. in there, catching in that slip by Smith but McNally comes across to provide the cover and Celtic again this afternoon having to experiment uh, in the centre defence uh, Tony Mowbray still out and uh, Brian O'Neill was injured last week so Barry Smith now coming in to partner McNally and Smith making a bit of a meal of that uh, clearance, this is Jim Bett now A bit of slackness by Celtic, allowing Jim Bet the shot at goal. Certainly a great chance for Jim. I would have bet, I would have at least had a bet at least. He would have hit the target with that one. I better not throw a few points like that in. It's certainly the first opportunity for Hearts, at least to hit the target. 
to Tosh McKinley. And a long, hopeful one looking for Robertson. And, uh, it's out for the throw in to Celtic. under a bit of pressure and it's McLaren who again responds still Celtic have it though through Grant they through now for O'Donnell Celtic with plenty of players forward but he can't get in the cross it's easily mopped up by McLaren the Hearts put themselves under that pressure with uh, some slight play but that's better by Mackay to Frail a bit of a gap opens up over there on the far side but uh, Galloway nips in Robertson plays it through, it's a good pass, Cross McKinley's there, chance on for Thomas! Well, that's better play by Hart, it's a goal kick at the end of all of that, Kevin Thomas coming so close, Cross McKinley providing the cross. Great chance for Hart there, good cross by Cross McKinley, Thomas almost getting out of the back post, just couldn't make enough co contact on it, Barry Smith did enough to put him off. Good indication already. If Hearts are going to trouble Celtic at all, they'll have to get the likes of Gary McKay and Jim Bett in, which they did in that passing movement. So, McLaren challenging, O'Donnell's in there for Celtic. So we buy Bett. Robertson very quickly challenged by McNally. Uh, Robertson still on the ground, the referee, I think, was trying to play what advantage there was. It turned out to be very much. Uh, Robertson still on the ground, this play goes on. This is Galloway. You can see Robertson lying there as O'Donnell plays the ball through. Certainly no charity being shown by Celtic. That player still on the ground. Just plays it now and eventually it's knocked out of play by Boyd to allow some treatment. Now the referee has shown the yellow card to McNally and of course McNally was involved uh, in another foul just outside the Hearts penalty area a few minutes earlier when he took Scott Leach out of the game John Robertson actually did incredibly well to play the pass and keep possession for Hearts but Mark McNally certainly came through the back of him and caught him, you really can't complain about that back heel flick but it's given away to Leach referee Trying to let play flow as much as possible. And eventually he awards the free kick. Well, in fairness to the referee, he was uh, trying to allow Scott Leach to get through, but uh, Celtic were determined he wouldn't, and the free kick had to be awarded. It's Bet who takes it, looking for the head of Levine. And dipping just behind. Well, Craig Levine had the misfortune to put through his own goal here against Celtic a couple of years ago, but he's always a player who carries a huge threat. That's at Peters. Comes for handball against Galloway, and that's the allowed play to go on up. This is Grant for Celtic. Boyd. Now it's Smith. O'Donnell. Collins, next day. He's sending it through now to O'Donnell. Goal kick. That's uh, Leach digging in for Hearts and the ball coming off McNally for the throw in. Goes astray, and then that's uh, McStay for Celtic. And pursued by Bet, who recovers well. Levine. 
Here Tosh McKinley. That's Thomas. Play on, says the referee. It's Gary Mackay. Thomas is still on the ground. It's laid off now to Tosh McKinley. Jim Bet drives it through. And John Robertson sends the ball beyond Marshall. 42 minutes gone and Hawks take the lead. Jim Bet having the effort at goal and John Robertson was there to get the ball behind Gordon Marshall. Well, John Robertson has a tremendous scoring record against Celtic. It was Jim Bet driving it through and Robertson with the touch wrong putting the goalkeeper. And what a record this man has against Celtic. He's a top scorer in this picture, and that's his 14th goal against Celtic. Well, it was a good cross from Tosh McKinley. Finally fell to Jim Bett, who tried his luck again, had a shot earlier on in the game, who never hit the target. And if you're going to be in the right place at the right time, John Robertson just a very man to do that. He gives hearts the lead at the end of the first half and it's exactly what the game needed and Celtic now have the corner kick Owen McLaren battling hard so perhaps a last chance in this first half for Celtic well inside the final minute there was a stoppage for some treatment to John Robertson but uh, very much the enemy for Celtic. Smith commits himself, he's well off his line. Well, Smith and McLaren both going for the ball, and uh, it almost caused a problem. Still, Celtic have it. It's Walker. McNally trying the shot. And eventually, Henry Smith gathers up the ball as we move into injury time. Before the goal, Jerry, really emphasis on how awkward conditions were for the first today. It's taken them to the 40th minute to get hold of it. Thankfully, Hearts bringing a little bit of excitement to the first half of the fans by scoring a goal. Hopefully, it can spur the players on to give us something a little bit better in the second half. just before half time Tosh McKinley breaking the left getting in the cross Jim Bett tried a shot at goal and Robertson was there to steer it past Gordon Marshall the half time score here at Tyne Castle Hearts 1 Celtic 0 so Celtic have made a change Billy Faulkner there kicking off with Andy Walker and Faulkner who would play through the middle this week and uh, Celtic will launch some high balls in his direction they really failed to penetrate this half defence on enough occasions and there's uh, an early indication that uh, from Faulkner with a free kick awarded against the Celtic player but uh, they'll certainly hit some high balls in towards him usually the target man this afternoon when he came on last week uh, he was more of a midfield role in fact this is the third consecutive Saturday he's come off the bench for Celtic Played by McNally. Uh, McNally claiming that it, uh, the ball had deflected off Tosh McKinley. I think he had a bit of a case, but uh, not an easy one for the referee to spot. So the throw in is awarded two hearts. Uh, against McNally for tugging uh, Thomas' jersey. McNally will have to be extremely careful. He's already been booked. Well, McLaren now has moved to the edge of the Celtic area. Played in by Bet. McLaren gets a touch. Missed 
by Bet. Touch from Walker to Faulkner. The ball through, that uh, just eludes O'Donnell. That's Collins. Next day. Galloway. Given away by Galloway to Bet. This is what Celtic will have to be careful of as they push forward, looking for the equaliser that could be caught on the break. And here's John Robertson getting away from Smith at Robertson. That's a fine save by Marshall. Well, Robertson sprinting through there. That brings a huge roar from the home support. Robertson running at Smith and Boyd, doing extremely well, and Marshall had to make the save. And that's an important save for Celtic. John Robertson, very unlucky there. Great pass from Tosh McKinley, pinpoint accuracy. We join unlucky not to get another one against Celtic this afternoon. Mixed day. A slack one by him as he tried to pick out Galloway. He has to step away from that one as uh, Tosh McKinley comes through. McKinley trying to thread it through to Thomas. This is Boyd. Faulkner sends it through and Berry sends the ball high over his crossbar, which he had to do with Andy Walker coming in just behind them better move by Celtic here great ball across in between defender and, and goalkeeper great defending absolutely great defending by Barry there Stay comes in hard Stay has uh, hurt himself in that exchange it's Stay himself who made the challenge who is left limping advantage now it's O'Donnell that's off Berry for the corner kick and uh, Jim Betts will be booked here I think for uh, this challenge on Collins and after he allowed play to go on but he's now showing the yellow card to Jim Betts the referee has tried very hard to let play flow this afternoon and now he's uh, allowing some treatment for Paul McStay they really in trouble here. And it looks as though he'll take no further part in the match. Charlie Nicholas is the other Celtic substitute for the already committed Willie Faulkner. It's not a good sign, Jerry, when he takes his sock down and he makes that decision as quick as that. There could be a break in the skin there. Oh, he's being allowed to come on just before this corner kick is taken he scored two goals here for Charlie Nicholas in a 2-0 win against Hearts last season so Collins delivers the corner kick and behind it goes and Celtic will be looking to Nicholas for his experience he's Carrying the manager's instructions onto the field. This is Josh McKinley. This is Collins. Nicholas. To Galloway. Collins under pressure here. On Tosh McKinley gets the free kick which is quickly taken. Good turn by Walker against Berry. Chested down by Frill. <laughs> Rather fortunate to go away with that one. No, can't hear he says. But uh, another strange area of the field to be tempting that type of thing. So McNally has moved forward for the corner kick. Taken by Nicholas. Let's get away only as far as Collins. Collins trying the shot, and Henry Smith uh, takes that one at the second attempt. Trying to knock it over the goalkeeper. 
a little bit of hope there from John. Never really going to beat Henry from there, I don't think. It's Miller playing it wide to Tosh McKinley, and he's got Cahoon along with him. Cahoon steps away from Nicholas and O'Donnell. Finds Gary Mackay. Real runs in support. There he is. It's away by McNally. And Creel accepts the throw in. Robertson. Ty comes in. Good saving challenge though by McNally. This is Nicholas. Long ball now for Walker to chase. He's waited pass by Nicholas. Celtic get the corner. It's an absolutely super ball from Charlie Nicholas from, from back to front. It went from a difficult situation for Celtic there to then getting a corner at the other end. And Nelly moves forward, so to just Galloway into the half area. Faulkner's there as well. This is Collins. Winding away from Berry. Galloway drives it through. Peter Grant's head up. This is O'Donnell. And right across the face of goal and behind for the goal kick. And running away from Celtic. Phil O'Donnell obviously favours his left. Unfortunately for him, couldn't get the goal in target. That's to him. Hot ball. Collins, Peter Grant breaking through, but uh, Henry Smith read the situation well. Good ball through by Collins, good running by Grant, and excellent goalkeeping by Smith. Super ball by John Collins, a great one deep from Peter Grant, albeit for the weather to take the ball away and back into the arms of Henry Smith. A normal day, I'm sure Peter could have had a shot and goal there. Better here. Great save by Gordon Marshall there. And now for Faulkner to chase. But, uh, Galloway's pass, uh, far too much pace in it. I think Galloway's done that two, three, four times today, Jerry, and really 
You should know by now the weight of the pack will have to be a lot better today. Celtic really only have another five or six minutes to try and get something from this game and they don't need to give the ball away as sensibly as that. Chris McKinley playing it through, looking for Robertson. Looks away to Miller. Now it's Cahoon. Switching the play, looking for Frill. Good first touch by Frill. And almost finding Robertson. That's McNally who sweeps the ball behind. Well, good play again by Hart. Cahoon sending the ball away to the far side. Good first touch there by Stephen Frill. Robertson was lurking, but McNally got in. Still looking for this second goal that would really finish things off. Levine's well forward again. Marshall commits himself. Again, he handles well. He wastes no time. So Tommy McLean, slowly but surely, knocking this squad into shape. He does such a great job at Motherwell. They've cited a poor start for the season, but if they can hold on to this, it'll be four wins in the last five games. Smith under pressure from Robertson again. Play on, says the referee. Trying to allow the advantage. This is Miller. Cross McKinley runs in support. And he wins the corner kick for Hart. So a grandstand finish by the home side as we move into injury time. McLaren moves forward. Mackay to Robertson and that stumbled away only as far as Frail that's deflected and Marshall gets it at the second attempt so Marshall launching the high one forward and here's Walker almost finding O'Donnell and no foul says the referee O'Donnell is curious no plague is on that's away by Miller with uh, Galloway coming in rather late. And that's out of play now for the throw-in to Celtic. Well, this was uh, Walker trying to find O'Donnell. And he certainly looks to be taken out of the play by Levine. Now Hart covered again through Gary Mackay, who will just keep things as calm as possible. Good ball through now to Robertson. Robertson with Smith, he's given Smith a hard time this afternoon. Well, tempers definitely showing. The free kick has been awarded to Celtic, and uh, Robertson has been called over. Now had three minutes of injury time. There's a time for one last charge from Celtic. There isn't a call over. And a delighted Tommy McLean. A deserved victory for Hart. And Celtic's first defeat under Tommy Burns. The Hart player delighted with themselves. There's the goal scorer. John Robertson, his 14th Premier League goal against Celtic, a tremendous record, a vital goal for Hearts, the fourth win in five league games, they're picking up the points, they're climbing up the table, the full-time